What do you like the most, sunshine or snow? Well, Lewis Carroll's book opens on a wintry day with Alice tucked up inside her house and snow falling against the window pane. When I started to turn that scene into music, the first thing I imagined was an ostinato. That's just a fancy word to describe a repeating pattern of notes. And the ostinato I came up with sounds like this. You hear that pattern played over and over in my music, and it represents the snow falling outside. When the violins and violas have the ostinato, they play their instruments in a very special way. Can you tell what they're doing? Did you notice that the musicians were plucking their strings? We call that pizzicato. So technically, what you just heard was a pizzicato ostinato. When I wrote this music, it wasn't just Lewis Carroll's words that inspired me. There were also some brilliant illustrations drawn by John Tenniel. And I think this one here set the atmosphere for the first song. Alice seems quite content, sitting in the big armchair, playing with her kitten, and she asks the cat if it can hear the snow outside. What about you? Can you hear the snow falling too? Before we continue, I want to make sure you know the answer to a very important question. This one. What is a looking glass? Well, it's just an old fashioned name for a mirror. I guess it would be like us describing a smartphone as a typing screen. Now, do you think Alice was brave to climb through the looking glass? Heading off into an unknown, parallel world it seems like quite a dramatic thing to do. And when she does, everything changes in the music. One of the best ways to build excitement in the orchestra is to add more and more layers of sound until you have everyone playing together. You know exactly when Alice climbs through the looking glass in the music, when there's a big crescendo Everything gets louder and louder, and then bang! Alice has entered a new dimension. <laughs> On the other side of the mirror, Alice discovers things are not quite the same. In fact, everything is backwards. And so I wondered, what would it sound like if my music was played backwards? Would that even work? Remember the ostinato from before? In the opening of my music, it looked like this. Now we're through the looking glass. It's turned into this. It's the very same pattern as before, but it's played the other way round. Though that's not the only thing because the final verse of this song is sung backwards too. Check it out. Have a listen to the first movement of Through the Looking Glass. <laughs> 